Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, this week's, well, I say this week, but it's been a while, I think. <laughs> um, I've been taking longer to make YouTube videos, but um, I'm starting to get used to it. I'm starting to get a rhythm, I hope. Um, but this, this times, this video's <laughs> speed paint is of a chibi, and that's because I'm doing a 52 week challenge. Um, it's a 2018 52 week challenge where you're supposed to paint a painting every week during the year of 2018 But I really fell behind. I wanted to do it, but I didn't start until just now So this is actually the third prompt of the challenge uh, and the prompt was dainty and The only thing that I could think of that I wanted to paint was a chibi so because chibis are so small and so cute, and I love them, and I think they're pretty dainty, so I wanted to paint one. The artist that came up with the prompts for this challenge, uh, her name is Erica Kilborn, and I follow her on Instagram, and I'll leave her the link to her Instagram down below because she's an amazing artist. I love her art so much. She does a lot of oil paintings, and they're so colorful and, and just really inspiring. And she came up with the most beautiful prompts, and I've had a lot of fun trying to catch up. So I'm hoping that I can get as many of the prompts done as I can. Um, the first prompt was Lost, and I'll show the first two paintings that I did for this challenge at the end of the video. So the, the first prompt was Lost, and the first thing that I thought of was a funeral, because I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of gloomy and I love that stuff. I love like dark stuff and creepy stuff and cemeteries and funerals and I think I'm sorry but <laughs> I think that um, ladies when they're dressed up for funerals they're so fabulous so I drew a lady I uh, painted a lady with a black veil and it's re really dark and she's got this like bright red lipstick on and I think that's fabulous so that's what I did for the first prompt, and the second prompt was Gypsy, and the only thing that I could think of was a Gypsy Caravan, because I've been seeing those all over Pinterest, and I love them, and I want one to live in, and I, they're just so inspiring. They're just so small and so cute and so colorful, and so I painted one of those, and I show both of those at the end. And I've been having a lot of fun with this challenge, but I am having a lot of trouble coming up with a theme. I wanted to give them a theme, but each prompt sends me on a scattered wherever, you know? I, I can't I can't stick with a theme. Every time I see a prompt, I think of something new and different. So none of the paintings look like they go together, which kind of bothers me, but also I'm just proud of myself for making paintings. <laughs> Um, I'm glad that I've been able to come up with like four paintings in four days because that's that's really good for me So I'm, I'm proud of myself for that So I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I think that's one of the worst things that you can do as an artist You don't want to you know punish yourself. You, you want to reward yourself for doing good, you know? I think I'm at that awkward place as an artist where I don't really have a style I mean a lot of people tell me I have a style, but it's hard for me to see. Um, I feel like I've made enough paintings that I, I should have a style, but also I don't believe that artists should or shouldn't do anything, really. Um, I think that, you know, that's one of the fun things about art is that it can be completely new every single time. and. So there's that, but also I feel like, you know, I, I don't have um, a certain thing that I always go back to. I love really, really cute things like this chibi girl, and I love really, really dark things like ghosts and cemeteries. And I think that I would do a lot better if I would just pick one and stick to it, but also I don't want to <laughs> because I love them both so much. 
Um, so my likes and dislikes are kind of all over the place. I love everything, really, and so it's hard to be known for any one thing, which makes it hard to be known at all, you know? So I've kind of been struggling with that, but also I know that it'll work itself out in time, so I don't want to get stressed out about it too bad, and, uh, and I, I really have been enjoying the journey. Because it's not a it's not a destination, you know. I don't want to end up anywhere and then be stuck having to paint the same thing over and over and over again. But also, like I would like for people to be able to look at a painting that I made and know that I made it without having to see my signature, you know. Because um, I love scrolling through Instagram and seeing a photo that somebody has taken and immediately knowing which artist that was, <laughs> you know, I'd love to be there someday, but, uh, but right now I'm just having a lot of fun, and I know that the only way to get to that point is just to make a lot of paintings. So that's the only way, there's no way around it, there's no rushing it, um, and there's no point in getting stressed out about it. Um, I'm just gonna keep make making paintings. <laughs> uh, so that's the plan so far, and sorry I keep saying um. But I did really enjoy drawing this chibi and then painting it. I used to try so hard when I was younger. I would try so hard to paint chibis and to draw chibis. And I used to watch all of Mark Crilly's videos and try so hard to follow along with him when he was trying to do tutorials. Well, he did really good tutorials. I just, I, I didn't get it when I was at that age. Um, so I kind of gave up. But then I saw the, the prompt for Dainty, and I immediately thought of a chibi, and I was like, this is it. <laughs> I think I'm old enough. I think I get it now. Let me try. I just wanted to try. I just want to try. Because I got past that age of, you know, when I was younger, I learned how to draw because of anime and because of manga. And the older I got, the more I tried to get away from that, and I didn't want to even acknowledge that I used to draw anime or manga. And, you know, because that's embarrassing. But also, everybody starts there, I feel like. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's fun. It's fun. It's good art, and it's colorful, and it's happy, and I love it. So, if I want to draw anime, then I'm still gonna just draw anime. I've been trying so hard to get away from that style and kind of find my own style. I, I wanted my the people that I draw to be more realistic, but sometimes I just want to go back to the anime and draw something that's fun and that doesn't stress me out. Um, noses, for instance. I hate drawing noses. They're difficult and so unattractive if you get a single line wrong. <laughs> And they can just ruin a whole painting, but also I don't want to do like the triangular anime nose, you know? It always looks good somehow, but it's anime and I didn't want anime anymore, but um... So this is fun to kind of give myself a break and draw something so anime and so manga and just so cute and not even worry about it. So that was a lot of fun and I hope that, um, <laughs> I hope that other people like it. So thank you so much for watching, it really means a lot to me. Um, and also, if 
you like to watch my uh, my painting process, but you don't want to hear me talk, and I don't blame you, then always feel free to just mute it and put some music on in the background, you know? That doesn't offend me at all. I uh, The sound of my voice irks me, so I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't stand the sound of it, and that's why it takes me so long, I think, to make a voiceover. Um, I listen to it back, and all I can hear is the sound of my two front teeth whistling. It's horrible. Um, but... <laughs> it's not the mic's fault. It's just me. It's just how I talk. <laughs> so I'm trying to be authentic, so I don't want to over-edit this. Um, and I don't want to read off of a script anymore, because that sounds like... Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. So I'm trying to be authentic and I don't blame anybody. If you want to mute it and just listen to it or just watch it, I mean, um, that doesn't offend me at all. I really appreciate you for watching and if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. Even if you want to agree with me about the obnoxious teeth whistling, I don't mind. And um, all of my social media links will be down below. I recently got a red bubble. So if you want a nice print or something of anything, then you can go there. Also, there's like mugs and cute bags and stuff and phone cases. So that would really help me out. But only if you're interested, you know. I'm also on Instagram and Etsy. So I'll leave all of that down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll try to be back sooner with a new video. <laughs> Bye.